<laughs> there is Dario Vicinomini against Christian Rotten. Yeah, and we yeah. just saw Christian Christian Rotten play uh, last game. He was very experienced with the deck and he's playing another Delver. We were surprised, surprised. He is a really experienced player. Uh, I know him. And apparently, just happened. Dario was on the play and he opted to go for a turn to Ren and Six that gets met by Days, which gets. gets uh, uh, which <laughs> met by Days, <laughs> that get met by Days, yeah. and, and for Days and Days. <laughs> Long story short, there's a Ren and Six on the battlefield and nothing else. I think we are likely going to see a very short game one because this is. One of the best openers you can have in this matchup, right? Um, there is no Westland. This way. I mean, you... And Chris Roten has the only answer. That is Tarmogoyf. I mean, yeah. you have to hit... It's it's not like likely, but that's the answer that he has. Uh, the fact is, Dario has in his hand as, as Spazner and... Uh, what? Magmatic Sinkhole. That's the name, right? Magmatic Sinkhole. Magmatic Sinkhole is not still not... Big enough, <laughs> but still good, I would say, uh, in the future. And now Chris goes for the ponder and probably next turn for... for ooh, he drew a Brandon 6 by his own. Ooh, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that's uh, okay, it's uh, really interesting because there are a lot of uh, action in general. This way, the guy that has something into play is normally favorite. I, I yes. totally agree. And there's usually not a lot of lands. <laughs> yeah. If if he can stick the Tarmogoyf into play in this moment, it would be great. Yes. The question is, does Kristen has a force wheel and not just or a, a, a Tarmogoyf? Or a daze, exactly. Yes. Uh, that's the question. But Do you think... We'll I think there's double Tarmogoyf even, right? It seems like... No, Tarmogoyf ran bolt Brainstorm and two lands. A Flooded Strand and a Tropical Island. All right. Dario is using his Fetchland main phase to get maximum value out of Ren and Six, especially because he has a Brainstorm in hand. So yeah, this will be an easy spell snare. Easy spell snare, yes. Ooh, double Bolt from Christian is really interesting at the moment because it's one of the way out of this uh, situation yeah it's it is true that if dario finds uh westland the game ends on spot i think but no westland at the moment i actually think the game has almost ended with the resolution of this brainstorm because even so? if he if christian double bolts ren and six now ren and six has already created so much card advantage it and is possible, if, with, yeah. if you use two cards to deal with it now you're basically left with three cards in hand, maybe four, against the full seven from Dario. Yeah, which I, I like your 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 point there. Yeah, I like it. But then again, the only threat we see from Dario at the moment is a hex drinker. That is good, but not great against bolts. <laughs> not great against bolts. No. I think in this moment Dario just plays a fetch and searches a land. I think that was a. Okay, he has no other lands, right? Okay, yeah, this makes sense. I was like... <sighs> I don't know if he has to take this advantage now. Wow, I'm thinking about it. Because maybe it was better just not to fetch, I think. Because it is true that he has Stifle, and that would be painful. But at the same time, there is also Westland that could deny you to uh, counter it's the brand or curious, yes. the... Yeah, I, I think it is correct just because he, your your opponent showed you Stiefel and that's why it is correct to fetch in your turn. I think it is even fine without that argument because you're still not playing around days if you wasteland the tropical. You only play around spell pierce then. Still, but spell he has no days this way. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Christian doesn't know that, right? Yeah, but still, he had to, he is forced to do that play, I think. Yeah. This way. Oh. Delver. So Dario opting not to go for the okay, interesting. answering interesting. route, but he rather tries to stick his own threats, which means this run is going to resolve. That's great for Christian. That is great for Christian, yes. Is he going to stick around, though? I think it will be met with a 
with a Matic. Could be, yes. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, he has a lot of card draw, he has a lot of things to do, and Christian is kind of low on the things to do because he has a Brainstorm yeah. and two bolts. And it is true that Brainstorm reserves always a lot of surprises. <laughs> it's like a That is true, but it doesn't get you ahead, actually. No, no, it's not a card advantage. It's card quality advantage, not yes, card advantage. Which is almost as important, but, you know. Not in this moment, I would say. Not in this moment. Because the cards that are broken in this moment are not a lot for for in this matchup, I think. Just the cards that you play and you say, oh, whatever it is in the play, we, I am ahead. The now. cards that are broken are already on the battlefield. Are already, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, Chris Rotten plays four Stifle. It's interesting. What's the main difference with Dario? Okay. Dario the is playing a Magmatic Saint Cole and a one of Oko Thick of Crowns. Yes, and double that true name the, Nemesis. Yes. That's the difference, the four card difference. And the four oh, no, cycle. no. True name Nemesis is also in Christian list. It's one Hex Drinker, one, uh, one Magmatic Saint Cole, one Oko. Probably the Fiery Islet. Lance yeah. 18. Dario is running lands. a singleton. Yeah, fiery but island. the number of lands, I think it's still 6, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, it's 19 lands instead of 18 lands. That's the difference, yes, the yes. fire island. But right now, the difference is that Dario's Ren and 6 has been st sticking on the Dominant. battlefield for way too long now. He's actually opting to go for Ponder instead of the Synchro. Interesting. He has still the possibility to make the Synchro, but he will not be protected from Dates. Yes, and he is effectually... If <laughs> I'm asking he's stopping himself from leaving Spell Pierce open as well. It is funny because I'm asking myself if, Dar if Dario knows that he can shoot other Planeswalkers. Uh, anyways... <laughs> I don't think he wants to. I think he either wants to get rid of Ren 6 immediately with the sinkhole, or he wants to get another land back. Because dealing one damage to Ren and 6... If no, 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 I mean, if he knows that the sinkhole, oh, the sinkhole. can target the Planeswalkers, not the Ren and 6. Oh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure <laughs> about the fact that he knows about the sinkhole. That, uh, I it, it, it think that's I the main reason knows it. It, people I think play, he knows right? It. <laughs> it's one of the two reasons, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is that it deals a lot of damage. No, no, removing cards from your graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Playing around mental misstep. <laughs> Is passing the turn, leaving spell peers open. <laughs> Interesting. So he opted to not go for the magmatic sinker, not go for the hex drinker. Uh, yeah, hex drinker was not a good play at the moment. <laughs> it, it eats up a planeswalker activation, right? So Ren and Six will be on one. Yeah, sure. That's true. But Can't you kill it with his own Ren and Six if he yeah, gets but down you, to one? You, you think that your opponent has both at the moment, I think. Yeah, that's uh, true. How the game developed, I, I would assume that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So here's the expected brainstorm from Chris. Did he find what he was Ooh, looking for? Wasteland. Wasteland. That's a game changer. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> it forces it basically I think it forces Dario to use the magmatic sinkhole soon. Yes. So in that but regard it's not really. He will always have three lands into play and Christian will always have three lands into play. Because until Ren is into play, that's a little bit the rule. I don't know how. I hope Dario doesn't ho tries to go for ultimate of Ren. Stiefel would, would say you, something against it. <laughs> do you know what Dario just drew? Uh, Oko. 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 <laughs> That's amazing. I would love to see that in action. <laughs> I think it could be really good in this matchup, actually. I think it's good. Uh, I would side it in. I, we were speaking wind. 
before we were speaking about it, and I, I would bring in the second one. I think yeah. it's just a great threat your opponent has to solve. And it's difficult to solve, right? Because it ticks up to, s to six immediately, most of the time. Yeah, but after a sideboard, these decks bring in the the, the, the power blasts. This way, that's still an answer. Clean yeah. answer. It is. Kind of clean answer. In this matchup, it's kind of a clean answer because it's just a food token, and the food token is not just so relevant, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Or maybe you can shut down the Delver. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Tarmogoyf, yeah. Oko. Okay. Oko, okay, let's go. Yeah, I think the, the idea. I think this will be met with the Force, right? Yes. I, or a no. Spell Pierce? Did I see a Spell Pierce? Oh, he let it resolve. Double Bolt? Wow. That's double bolt, I think. That's why, but... Oof, that is even more value for Dario. And... Okay. I, it will be... I think double bolt? Wow. Chris drawing a, an unwanted fetch land from the top. With Ren and Six out, you don't want to really draw any more lands. It is okay. One of the things that is really interesting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. I kind of understand. He didn't want to, to counter because Ren and Six could ultimate, and he didn't want to go in a counter war and in, in that spot because he needed mana open to have the ability to uh, protect from the uh, from the ultimate from Ren. That's why. With the stifling. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's yes. why. And now he goes for the for the double bolt because it's kind of more sure as a move. If the second bolt <sighs> resolves, that is. <laughs> I I don't go for force of will here. I just say it's fine. I think I I see that, but I think you have an, another threat into play, and that's enough. We don't need all the threats at the moment. I think Ren can do the work alone. And in this, oh, but this makes it so, makes it so that he has to decide to use the the spell pierce now. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Which means sinkhole would yeah, resolve. Exactly. Yes. And that's. I think it's fine. Not sinkhole. No, 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 not sinkhole. The ultimate of Ren would resolve. That's the problem. Not sinkhole. <laughs> I think both are happening next turn, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yes. But at least the ultimate yeah. still gets met with a the stifle. With a stifle yeah. but we have to see because, I mean, in this position, do you go for it? I think he told you he removed the spell pierce with the force of will. Yeah. I, I don't know if Dario saw it, but it's that's clear. I mean, it's a clear tell what's happening. Or he wants to play around Spell Pierce. Oh, Ren didn't use his stuff still, yeah. and all the things are on the stack this way. Ren will not use the the good things uh, that he can do. Planeswalker activation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that was really well done from Dario. Now I'm yes, I'm agree. still okay with the play of forcing the the bolt there. Sure. Because Oko will run away quite quickly as well. Yeah, I think both are <laughs> just crazy. Yeah. Those cheap planeswalkers, man. <laughs> you would have thought that they would learn from Teferi, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Little Teferi was just broken. And yeah. then other... Let's do another one for two. <laughs> two is better than three, you know? Yeah. It depends. That's right. I this think seems very over. <laughs> I think there's a I, Ren I, ultimate. I go for the ultimate. In. Yeah. Sure. My opponent will do the, his stifle. I play double creature and say hi to you, friend. <laughs> yeah, I have fire at it. I have Ren and six. Please be my be my guest. <laughs> yes. You have zero cards in hand. Yeah, I would just slam all my hand to mm. be honest, because if he top decks Ren to kill the the hex drinker, I'm fine with killing the Ren with my TNT. Mm. 
uh, that that's what I meant. Dario was so far ahead that even though Chris did actually draw reasonably well yes. with his own Renan six and his stifle and stuff, Dario still left with a bunch of cards. But Oku was really good also. Yeah, Oku was. Right. Because meeting double, double bolt. Yeah. I think the great thing that he that Oko did was making a food token. Yeah, those three lives, man. It's quite useful. You know? Quite useful. It's it's like 18:30, something like this. We have to eat in a few moments, like it's <laughs> seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and if Oko gives us food, that's pretty good. I'm interested. <laughs> interested? Oh. Give me all the food. <laughs> I love the flavor of Eldrain, especially cards like bake yeah, into I, a pie. I, 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 I love it too. I love it too. Oh, he, wow. I, I think this is the correct play from him because he knows that this is stifle. Because he would not do that if this. Oh, he didn't go for the, for the hex drinker. Uh, he wants to use the isle, uh, the land, yeah. I think. He's playing it conservatively, yes. which is fine. I yes, guess. I think Ren is for sure the right play to take it up because you know that he has Stifle. Stifle. It's, mm. it's, you know it. It's not an awful card. It's sure that it is Stifle. There are, <laughs> yeah, there's, there is yes. no possibility it is another card. Yes. This way. I agree. You could call it out. <laughs> I mean, that's... that's <laughs> It's 1-0 for Renan 6. Wow. Let's see what Renan 6 will do in game 2. Cool game, though. It was <laughs> yeah. very interesting. Uh, I liked it. He, make it. he made a lot of advantage with Renan 6. And, and you were right about the advantage came out. The, the fact is, he, Christian got a little bit back into the game. But at the end, I feel like Oko just sold off. I mean, maybe Oko was not needed. Uh, because looking at the other mm. threats that he had. I think a Tarmogoyf would have basically done the same yeah, job. Yeah, I agree. But Tarmogoyf is really good in this matchup. Yes. I, it's big, huge, huge <laughs> Tarmogoyf. It's bigger than a Bolt, that's for sure. It's bigger than everything. everything. Do you think Dario is siding out the force of negation? I would side it out. Yes, that's, me too. That's what I would do, but he didn't side it out before, and I didn't. I don't know if I told him to side it out. <laughs> Are we going to see any surprises from the sideboard, or is it just no? He said the same. Flusterstorm, Pyroblast, blast. I would not side in pyro, uh, the Flusterstorm. Oh really? No. Uh, I think he doesn't answer the threats that you want to answer. It's good in the in the attrition, ma and uh, if you want to make your own threat go in, mm -hmm. but it's not good against the threats from your opponent. That is true. Um, and uh, it's not like you have a lot of things that you just want to take out. There are some cards that are narrow, but they are not bad. There are not a lot of cards that are bad, yes. I think. I think you could take out... Looking at the g games from before, Lightning Bolt is still good. I thought it was not good, but no, no, to be honest, the card is really necessary. good just because of Tarmogoyf. Of the Tarmogoyf War, in my opinion, because Tarmogoyf War with a bolt is just great, yeah. and uh, that's the main reason why I still like Lightning Bolt as a four-off. Uh, I would not like. Also deals with Delver to protect your planeswalkers. Sure, sure, sure. But for Delver, you have all all uh, other cards also. It's it's random six if it is not on turn one, and so on. I'm, it's the pyro blast. It's there are cards that are good against that, but I don't know. It's do, you, do you leave in the true name Nemesai? Uh, I would take, keep it in. It's like for me, it's like Oko. It's a card for three mana that's heavy. It is true that a lot of times it's bad, mm -hmm. but it's pitchable with a force of will. And yeah, if and I can true. cast it and it comes into play, my opponent will not be happy about it. Yes, for sure. I, I like those three mana cards just because Legacy gives you these options that this is food for Force of Will and that's something just insanely powerful yes. because it's, it feels like really bad and then it feels just fine. Yeah, that's mm. the difference. Between. Exactly. It's what we were talking about this in the last match where it was Red-Blue Delver against Christian. Yeah. And the Red Blue Delver player actually boarded in Blood Moon, which we were discussing because it can be such a 
a bad or an amazing card, but it's at three mana, it's quite risky to board in a card like yes. this. But that's not exactly true for true name because he's almost no, it's always pitchable. useful and it's pitchable, exactly. I think it's less impactful than Blood Moon, without, I think. <laughs> it's less impactful than Blood Moon in a lot of games, but I think uh, it's... Uh, it's still, in, in this matchup, it does put a lot of pressure yeah, on sure. the Planeswalkers, on and the, it can on jump... people also. <laughs> yeah, and it can jump a Tarmogoyf indefinitely, sure. which is quite useful as well. I think neither player has a way of dealing with it in the 75, right? Wow. Engineered explosives? No, no. I think both of them don't have engineered. Dario is playing one. Yeah, but he's but not. I would not say no. engineered in this matchup. No. We were speaking before, uh, and we had different opinion on engineered. It's it's close to be something that you can side in, but I don't know if it is close enough to be something you want yeah. to side in. Oh, wow! Spell appears on ponder. I love to see that. It's the correct play. He has no lands. Yeah, good call. And because he wants to tap wow. out on turn two for a Tarmogoyf, means that he... Uh, okay, he uh, sided in also the Hydroblast, uh, Christian. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. No. I think Hydroblast is more important than Pyroblast in this matchup. Or you at think least so? on par, yes. I don't think so. It's uh, For Ren, I, I can understand yeah, it, but... Ren is, Ren is the main reason, but yeah. you also have like... You can counter Both. the bolts and you can counter pyroblast. Yes, I don't. I think they are on the near the same level. I would say. Yeah. Oh, he drew Westland. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I, okay, I don't understand why Dario didn't counter the Tarmogoyf. He had double I force wheel in his hand. Don't understand either. To be honest, I would have countered the, the spell pierce. Yeah. Because I think if you have just one land. And you decide to keep it with uh, with just one land and the ponder. You have to commit yourself. Like it's a mulligan, but it's my mulligan that I decided with. It's a mulligan because I use my force will with a pitch card. But, but my hand is fine. I mean, his hand was fine if he had more lands. This way, I would for sure try to do the force will on the on the spell pierce. On the spell pierce. Sure. Yes. At the same time, then you're telling your opponent like. This is what I got. If you have Wasteland or Days, I'm dead. Sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, the turn after, he will have the same the yeah. same situation because yeah, he will true. say go and uh, and he will be like there like this. Uh, I feel he has to. And he had, I don't know if he had the second blue card to pitch, but he had the second force of will. That yes. was a little bit extreme because it was like going on a Mulligan to five, but still probably it was like kind of a correct play. And just trying to get to, uh, to have Renan Six or Tarmogoyf. Yeah. Because also, Christian, uh, if he go goes in this war, after he will be empty to fight another war. This way, maybe Dario yes. could have gone for something more. That's true. It is true that Christian, after had on turn to Tarmogoyf, yeah. that would have been pretty good. Yeah, Christian had an amazing hand, and Dario obviously yes. got unlucky by missing his second land drop. And it's not unlucky. You keep a hand with the one land and your opponent spell pierce your yes. draw card. It's not <laughs> unlucky. It's, it's a choice. It's, uh, yeah. No, I think it's a bad message to, to say unlucky with this, I think, to the players, to new players. I mean, I have this a lot with people that say, oh, I was unlucky. I didn't draw the second land. It's, you commit in this fight it's, and it's true, but then what happens, happens. It's not luck or not luck for me. That's my point of view. It's, uh, it's just because a lot of people, uh, uh, me too, are like, yes, I keep this you, hand. In, and, uh, in this matchup, you don't really expect to get Ponder spell pierced. Why? Because usually the other player tries to Ponder or uh, stick a Delver on turn one, which is very common. Yeah, I can, I can see that. But And spell but, pierce is only a two. But of then five. he decided on turn two to not force of will the, the counter. Yes. You have to commit if you keep a yeah. hand with a ponder. I mean, that's my point of view. I, I think you have to commit if, yes. if you decide to go like this. All right, we have a third game on our hands. We have to remember that he has 14 real lands because four are west lands or 15. 15, yeah. And from what I could tell, both kept their seven, so we're likely yes. going to see a... 
another close magic. game. Yes. By the way, guys, the score is 1-1, one, one, not 1-0. One, yes. Christian took a very quick, quick game, game two. And here is a turn one Delver. Will it be met by the Pyroblast, Pyroblast that Christian has in his hand? Maybe now. Hmm. He's considering it. It's quite important that Delver got to flip here because Christian is having a run and six in hand. So if Delver doesn't flip, it's, <laughs> it's easy hard. fodder for yeah. the run. Yeah, Dario can protect himself with the Force of Negation and uh, the Power Blast. One of the things that Force of Negation still gives is the protection against run and six. That could be yes. important. Yes. And the it fact that three mana counters something, that's also decent, yeah. kind of. It's better than five mana counters something. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but you can't counter Tormogoy. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Deciding. Force of Negation. It's, it's a really hard decision, in my opinion, to play the Ponder, because you, you decide that you... You have to find another blue card. Yeah. Wow, do you keep this? I think I would keep it on top. I would keep the brainstorm. And I think I wouldn't play Ponder because No, I would not. But if you now. find another blue card <laughs> yeah. you I totally agree. <laughs> you are you, you, put, you are you're putting, to, you're putting to use two it. bad yes. cards on top of your library and you're pitching the new blue card to Yes. To, yeah. But now I, I would I would keep it on top of Brainstorm because it's Brainstorm and Fetch Land and an Order Land. I feel like keeping Brainstorm on top, second card, uh, the uh, the the Fetch Land is pretty decent, I think. Yes. Because lands is something pretty relevant in this in this game, I think. Definitely. This game. And you know I'm what also? About magic. <laughs> you know what also Ren? is good with lands? Ren and six, they say. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I I don't know this card. Okay, pass this Chris teacher. Opting to pass. It is interesting because Ren is there, but at the same time there is the pressure of Delver. This yeah. way it feels like I don't know if I want to attack. I've cast it into a Delver because it's two hits on Ren. Yes, and. Chris also doesn't have anything to protect his run in his own turn because he would have to tap out, so his yes. Pyroblast is dead in his hand. I agree, I agree. So this I think is the is moment for a Pyroblast, it seems. Yes. And Daria has no way to counter that right now with his hand. Oh, well, yeah. He no, can, he doesn't. He can go for a Brainstorm. Yes. But he's not overprotecting it. Knowing the hand, it could have been an option, I think. It's true that Christian has no other lands. This way, if Dario goes for the Westland on the Volcanic... Yeah, there is a spell pierce. He could still up to wait a turn and see if Chris actually misses a land drop, and wow. if he misses, he can still Wasteland next turn. I'm thinking about the fact that probably I would have gone for the counter on the Brainstorm now. Yeah, makes sense to me. Uh, because... He wants to go into a counter war, right? Because he has the threat in his hand, but he lacks the mana to protect exactly, himself in his he has, own turn. He can, yeah, so he, he, he's if trying to, to empty Darius If you want to counter, you have to use them in his opponent's turn. I totally agree. The issue is he's holding up Pyroblast and he only has one fetch land. So if he fetches up a Volcanic, yeah. he doesn't have the green for red. I agree, sense. I agree. So it's it's not an easy choice to no, make. No, 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 you're right. Probably it was correct not to counter just because of what you said. You just said. Mm. You are totally correct. Did he put two cards? No. I think he has to put a Volcanic and the fetch land, yeah, and just play the Westland and Westing out uh, Ah, maybe he could just play the fetch land? I think he can go for the fetch land, right? Because he's pretty safe with Bolt and Pyroblast up. No, he's not safe oh, he's not against Tarmogoyf. I think he has to go for yeah, the Westland. He's not safe from Ren and Six either because no. he, he's lacking the pitch pitch card for Yeah, I, I think that's the... <laughs> Christian is thinking about the fancy play, I think. <laughs> Going for Brainstorm, dazing it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the fancy play. Right but. now, in a weird way, both plays are actually kind of screwed. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Neither player can really do anything. One of the things that Dario has to do now is forcing the issue in the sense that 
now in this counter moment counter every country yes and at the same time in this moment he wants to cast something this way christian has to fetch his land this way when ren comes or westland comes the game could be over yes. i think you have to force a little bit the issue yes it is really interesting i <laughs> at the moment i would give the advantage to christian it's strange to say but <laughs> Because I feel Dario is lacking of threats. He's, yeah, he's doing nothing. I think he's not playing Oko to use it as a potential pitch target for his Force of Negation. No, he, he should not use Oko because he knows yeah, that... But he has no other threats, right? He should not be played. He should just say go. Yes. It's I legacy. I think, I think that's, that's the wrong play and this will probably end the game, I think. That's my opinion. Oh, because he will get call. countered and then on his turn Christian has no no more problems and can use his brainstorm look he's going for a drop he's not going to pyroblast it no it's he has a spell pierce he does yes all right also before he had a spell pierce yes and the days as well wow. yes and he drew the fetch it's i think the game is over let's see but he cannot react to the Tarmogoyf and Chris, Chris has still a lot of stuff to do. Wow. Yeah. On the other hand, Dario can do and cast whatever he gets to draw. Yeah. But... For example, a Tarmogoyf. Pretty good card. Is it a Tarmogoyf? Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Is a card. I'm still not sure about this. Yeah. I, I would have. I understand it. I mean, this way he's playing around the Westland, and I think it's the correct play. Yeah, it's hard, so hard looking at the hands, and uh, it, maybe it was better to comment in the game without looking at the hands. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's something they do now, and I think it's kind of really interesting. Because you don't have the information and you could just figure out a yeah. little bit what's happening. So Chris deciding to go for his Tarmogoyf now at this point. Yeah, Dario says it's fine because he wants to attack Ren and use a, a bolt, I think. Yes. Especially now that he has two, so... Yes. Ren, almost Ren, Ren. certain that at least one of them is going to resolve. Yeah, and, and also if it doesn't resolve, it's not so painful. I mean, yeah. it's fine. And they're in this weird spot where Chris can't really attack, even though Dario can't block, but then he would, <laughs> you know, lose the Ren on the backswing. <laughs> uh, ju just a uh, TNT appeared. TNT. <laughs> <laughs> you know sneaky <laughs> face? Do you know sneaky face? Yeah, the sneaky face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually went to a tournament <laughs> once with the sneaky face and I don't <laughs> kept putting it on the, the battlefield. <laughs> it kept confusing people. <laughs> they loved it, I think. Uh, not all of them. <laughs> but I was the judge, so... <laughs> ah, okay, it's easy. <laughs> it's not a sanctioning mind, of course. <laughs> yeah, he has to attack now. I, it's, it's more play than what I talked. I talked it was really near to an end. I still think... Christian is a heavy favorite, but... Whoa. W wait, what? Bolt and Bolt. Oh. oh, and go for the Ren. Wow. That is so greedy. Yeah, it's Pyro greedy, Blast. but it's paying off. And Can it's... you imagine how amazing Flusterstorm would be right now? Wow, submerge. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, we missed that. Submerge from There's the sideboard. Two submerge two in the sideboard and Chris, Christian. This is just changing the things on the table. That is so old school, man. Yeah, but that's so good. <laughs> At the moment. Oof. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. But he has to counter it. Yes. He has double? Oh, he has double days or just one in his hand? That's the question. Uh, if he has two, I think the game... Yeah, he yes, has two. Double two. I dates. think the game is over. I agree. But... <laughs> oh, that is so rough. Yeah, he put 
two cards on the top, kept the double dates, and that's paying off. that Tarmogoyf is still a problem. Oh, he cannot, yeah, so it will not be a problem when TNT comes into play. Yep. Okay, this turn, tick up of Ren, get land, fetch, take, put the card that is on the top. Wait. Yeah, Tarmogoyf, TNT, Dari needs, I don't know what. Another Tarmogoyf. Yeah. But also like this, with another Tarmogoyf, uh, Ren will do his ultimate. Oof, yeah. He needs something that is not in Magic, I think. Or not in his deck, for sure. It's not legal in Legacy. TNT. Dynamite. It's TNN, but TNT is a little bit more cool. You should have made that joke where, when DNT was playing. <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm not really good at preparing jokes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem. It's, it's not like... <laughs> I put a ton of work on it, uh, I so have to say. Is it possible to get back into this game with the true name Nemesis? No? No. Wait, was Ren and 6 on 7 last turn already? I thought it was on 6. The, the dice was kind of confusing me. Because as you told me, the ultimate is minus 7, right? Yes, but he, he was on 6 the turn before. He puts it on 7 and then it was. That submerge with Brennan 6 is insane. That is insane, yeah. And he's got a second Brennan 6 in his hand to make sure that he doesn't run out of lands. Yeah, I think the only possibility is because he's a 13, and four hits of TNN could end uh, the game if he finds a bolt. Three, if, if it is five hits, I don't think it's enough time. But... Yeah. Christian needs threats, not threats like uh, Ren. He needs threats that hit like uh, Tarmogoyf yeah. now. But at least he he found finally found the force of will to deal with the Tarmogoyf once and for all. No, he will not cast the Tarmogoyf. He if will Dario just submerge the it every turn. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if if Dario cast the Tarmogoyf, he is not really a smart guy. <laughs> 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 I know what happens if you cast a Tarmogoyf. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so I think the only reason why... Wait, what? How did Daria go to... Oh, he was on 15. I, f I, thought, I oh, thought Chris the, was on 12, the, no? The lives are totally just... No, Dario, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's painful to watch. Hello. Oh man, uh, that's a really bad play. Yeah, Chris showing again his prowess as an experienced rock dialog player. He has been playing this deck for so long and submerge. <laughs> wow, with Ren and Six, that's amazing. Oh, okay, Christian is at nine, but Tarmogos was a really bad play. But <laughs> Christian is at nine. This way, he needs it's fourteen eleven. Okay. 11 hit with Ren on you, I think. That's what you want to do. Right. Uh, Ren. He's still too slow without too the slow. lightning Yeah, bolt. exactly. I think, yeah, Christian is too slow at the moment. Yes. But then again, his lightning bolts do have retrace, so if sure, he finds but one... There is, he needs to draw a Tarmogoyf or a lightning bolt, and fast. he will win for sure. No way out for Dario. Yes. I'm sorry. Darius is at seven now. <laughs> Wait, what? 
not happening. And Christian is at 14. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping to comment it. We don't know what's happening. Okay, just... Uh, <laughs> we should get fired. <laughs> no, wait. There is... Okay. Christian is at 6 and Dari is at 10. That actually makes <laughs> more sense. We see the dice. Okay. Don't look at the life points. Look at the dice. Look at the dice, yeah. <laughs> and the force of negation, can can it do something? Well, he can exile the submerge, right? No, no, the, the, the Dario has a force of negation in his hand. I'm thinking about that because the Krishna has 2,000 different things to do. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> it's not like... Wow. Delver could be an out. Delver. Is it enough? Is it though? enough? Hmm. I, I <laughs> what a it crazy is. game. It is, it is, because now oh, it's. Oh, I his thought that turn. was my yeah. Oh, yeah, then it Ten. Is. No, it's not enough. Ten, seven, six. He would be on one yeah, life. If, no, he will flip it and it's enough, yes. But Dario will force. No, but if he's on five life. Yes. And Dario is at 10. Yes. That would be 9 damage. He has Bren also. Oh, yes. True. Ah, uh, oh, finally. What a mess with the life, man. Uh, it's 11 now. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a 10. Dario was yeah, a 10, right? Yeah, it was a 10. Now it's 5-5. Five, five. Christian is at 11 now. <laughs> 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 well, somebody's going to die <laughs> eventually. Uh, there are lives, yeah. But so someone <laughs> has lives, the other one has also lives, and someone will die. Two naming nemesis will attack, and Dario will <laughs> get a lot of hope. See, that's what I don't like about true name nemesis, because <laughs> without true name nemesis, the player winning, which is Chris, would be winning for sure. Now we just don't know. <laughs> that's that's Spatos, you know? It's, uh, <laughs> we don't know what happens. You know? <laughs> crazy, crazy. Oh, Tarmogoyf. Mm. It's, mm -hmm. it's over, ladies and gentlemen, I would say. There is a force of will. Is there a way Dario can go get out of this? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I wow. No, no. Pitching double force would either. be bad. <laughs> Putting double force on the top. Yes. Because there is still lightning bolt. That can yes. be something, I would say. Wait, what? What is, what is happening to Trinity? Why, why is, why is Tune gone? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I agree, chat. Please set the live <laughs> run. 11.5 <laughs> could be accurate, though. Wow. A lot of, of emotion. I, I think, to be honest, I think Dario did a big misplay in this. I think Dario had to force of negate, uh, force the brainstorm because it removes it from the play. Yeah, That's, exactly. He had to try it. I mean, yes, you are in a really terrible spot. You have to try it. Uh, but I don't think it. I mean, he can just retrace the pyroblast from the grave, right? Eight to five. What? There's a pyroblast in grave. You can cast oh, yeah. pyroblast. You're on right. You're seven. right. You're right. Ren, do, does it always? It's not only on your turn, it's a retrace, it's always when the card can be I've retraced. never yeah, seen yeah, a Ren ultimate, but I think it yeah, just gives no, it's, your it's not, everything yeah, retrace, right? Retrace, yes. And Pyre is an instant, obviously, this way. It makes a lot of sense, I would say. Just true name things. That is not the answer, my friend. <laughs> you, it makes sense to make to do it. No, it doesn't make sense to. No, it makes no sense to do it. I mean, what? 
He wants to be really sure <laughs> he gets to flip Delver. <laughs> okay. Not that it matters, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh man, what an amazing performance by Chris. Yeah, amazing performance by and you Chris. Did, and you did call it when you said the, the game was over when you drew the second land. Yeah, I, I, th I think it was 